Hello and welcome back to Cooking in the Quads. Today we're actually going to be baking in the quads. That's right, I'm going to show you guys how to make a pumpkin chocolate chip cookie recipe for the fall and I hope you guys enjoy. So to kick things off, here are the ingredients we're going to need to make today's pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. You're going to need some milk. I'm choosing to use oat milk here. You're going to need some semi-sweet chocolate chips, some cooking oil spray, some pumpkin puree, some flour, granulated sugar, baking soda and baking powder, vanilla extract, ground cinnamon, I'm using applesauce in place of an egg, and some vegetable oil. Okay, for our first step in making these cookies, we are going to set the oven to 375 degrees so I can start warming up while we're doing our other things. And I'm going to take my avocado oil. You can choose to use, um, I'm just going to push that. You can choose to use parchment paper on these. I don't have any parchment paper, so I'm going to just grease them lightly with some cooking spray. This is just to help the cookies not spray to the sheets. There, that should be good. Okay, so to start with uh, mixing ingredients, we're going to take our pumpkin puree and we're going to get a cup of that. I already had some trouble opening it. As you can see, looking at the top of the lid, we have a, a can opener here that doesn't really work that well. So I let myself struggle off camera with that. So I'm just going to get a cup of this pumpkin puree here going. If you want to be precise with your baking ingredients, you can use a leveler. But I find just using like a, a fork or a knife or anything will do. You just kind of want to make sure it's pretty level, doesn't have to be perfect. And so we're going to take this cup and I'm using a big little uh, pot for my mixer. I don't have a big bowl here, but we'll put a cup of that in. Now we're going to take our sugar probably should open that off camera too. Probably gonna struggle with that one. I'll move on to the vegetable oil. So for the vegetable oil, we are going to use half a cup. You can also choose to use canola oil if you wish. So I've got a half cup measuring cup right here. Just gonna pour it in. And that's, that's half a cup. I'm just gonna throw it on in there. And we'll move on to the sugar. This is probably going to be complicated. Ooh, pretty easy. Pretty easy. Okay, so we're going to do a cup of granulated sugar. So I'm just going to use what I used for the pumpkin and put a cup of sugar in there. And there we go cup of sugar, throw it on in with everything out so far, and we can go ahead and get our vanilla extract now, and we are going to be using, let's see, one teaspoon of uh, vanilla. I've got the childproof seal on it, so it's uh, proven a little difficult for me. Also just cut my nails very short, so that doesn't help. There we go. So I'm going to get one teaspoon right here. Pour in the vanilla. Boop. There we go. Set that off to the side. And you can also choose in this part to use an egg. Um, I try not to eat too many eggs in my diet, so I'm using a substitute. Um, if you're not familiar with it, you can add a quarter cup of applesauce to ingredients when you're baking in replacing an egg. So I'm gonna get a quarter of a cup right here and just throw it on in with everything else. I also got cinnamon flavored applesauce because we're adding a little bit of cinnamon later to give it more of that fall taste as well. And now we're just gonna mix the ingredients until they're thoroughly mixed. So I will struggle with this on my own and see you in a little bit. Okay, so now that we have mixed our kind of wet ingredients here, 
thoroughly. I'm gonna put that down and move on to some of our dry ingredients. So we're gonna get our flour out. And we are going to use two cups of flour. And I'm just gonna take my uh, one cup measuring cup, do it over a different bowl, because it does say to do it in a different bowl, and get one cup of flour. There's one, now two. Come on. Yep, there we go. Two cups of flour. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to get our baking powder. And for our baking powder, we are going to use two teaspoons. Okay, so I'm going to grab my teaspoon from the vanilla extract. I'm going to carefully pour this over the sink. There's one teaspoon. And there's two. Mix on in there. And now we're going to get our cinnamon. And we are going to use one teaspoon. Again, teaspoon. Well, at least you know the ingredients are fresh because you see me opening up each and every one on camera, so. I'm gonna take my teaspoon one I've been using over and over. We got a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'll add that to the dry mix. And now we're gonna get half a teaspoon salt. So I'm gonna grab my half teaspoon measure. There we go. And I'm gonna take some salt. This one will be easy to pour because it's got a nice little, little lid thing. And add that in. And now we are going to mix that all together. And I imagine with the cinnamon, once we mix all this together, it's gonna have a bit of a light brown, white color to it. Yep. I'll show you guys, it probably just looks a little white on the screen, but a little bit of a brown hue to it here. Okay, now that we have all this mixed together, we are going to move on to the next step, and we're going to need a small mixing bowl, and we're gonna need our milk and baking soda. So I have my oat milk right here. I've got my baking soda. Open this on up. And we are going to be using one teaspoon of baking soda. So I'm gonna get my teaspoon again level it up with the baking soda just like that. I'm going to add it into the small mixing cup and then we're going to take our milk and we need one teaspoon of milk to mix with that. So I'll take my teaspoon, got a little generous there, and I'm going to put it in there. And it's important that you mix this until the baking soda thoroughly d dissolves. And I'm not sure the science behind it, but it said it was important in the instructions. So I'm gonna get a small fork for this. I left it over here. And we're gonna mix this up. I had someone cut come in, so I had to cut the recording for a second. Sorry for the awkward transition here, probably. But as you can see, I can't see any of the granules of baking soda in here with the milk. Kind of hard, I don't want to spill it, but take my word for it. And now, 
we're gonna add both the dry flour mixture and the wet baking soda mixture to the pumpkin mixture and mix it well. So I'm gonna add the milk and baking soda first. And then I'm gonna add my dry flour and ingredients. And now I'm going to mix them well together. And I'll see you in a little bit when it's done mixing. Okay, so we're almost there. We have mixed all of our ingredients together except one. We're going to add in the chocolate chips now. So we're gonna take a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. So get my one cup measuring cup. Put a cup in here. There we go. Add a little bit more. A bit of a chocolate myself. There we go. And now we're going to add the chocolate chips. And again, we're going to mix. And you just want to make sure there's a even mix here. It'll help make your cookies not too insanely chocolatey. You'll get a even mix of them in each and every cookie. And a little bit ago I heard our oven ding, so that means it's done preheating. So now we get to plate the cookies on the baking sheet. Close that. Busy day in the quads today. Had another person come by, so probably another awkward transition, but we'll roll with the punches here. So now you get to make your cookies any kind of size and shape you like them. I mean, the instructions say to get a medium cookie scoop, but I just kind of like to play it by ear. So I'm just going to get a couple gobs going. About what I think the size of a cookie should be. Maybe a little generous. And I will show you guys how they look when they are about to go in the oven. Okay, guys, so here's how they look before going in the oven. So. I'm going to take the two trays and put your face near the oven right away because it's a burst of hot air that comes out at first. And I'm going to stick one tray on the bottom rack and one tray on the top. So now we are going to cook these at 375 degrees and we are going to bake them for 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm going to do a timer. I'm going to do 11 and then check on them. So I'll be back. Okay, so I took them out of the oven. I had to add a couple minutes because I think I made my cookies a little bigger than most people do. But it looks like they're finally done. I hope you guys enjoyed this pumpkin chocolate chip cookie recipe. And I'll see you guys next time.